Hello and welcome to episode number 76 of the Daily Sales Message, where each and every single day, for at least the last 76 days in a row, can you imagine that? Seven, what were you doing 76 days ago? I was starting a podcast, look at that, with a lot of people saying, James, you're mad, doing it daily, a lot of pressure. Hey, here we are, nearly 100 days in, and there's no stop me just yet. So for the last 76 days in a row, every one of those days i've given you a piece of simple and actionable advice that's designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff too if you're new around here my name is james newell i teach people how to sell for a living and for me it comes in two parts it starts with having a clear sales message people have to understand what it is you're trying to sell to them and then you need selling confidence the ability to be relaxed and comfortable in a selling situation. In this episode, number 76 of the Daily Sales Message, we're talking about how to stop no-shows for calls. There's nothing worse, well, there's quite a few things worse really in life, dying is one of them, but there's nothing worse than somebody books a call to speak with you and then they don't bother to turn up and they don't bother to email you or, you know, very, very last minute you get a message, oh, sorry, can't make it, uh, insert generic rubbishy excuse and there we go. I had one of my clients in my Selling Confidence community ask me about this recently. James, how do I stop this happening? How do I stop people no-showing for sales calls? And the answer is really simple. And when I tell you, oh yeah, that's of course, but, you, but maybe you're not doing it. I don't know. Now, I use Canonly to book a lot of my sales calls. There's an automated kind of workflow that people go through and they book a call and they get automatic and that's it. That's the magic. You just need to remind people. So when somebody books a call with me, they get sent first of all to a landing page where there is a video which explains what to expect on the call and also some frequently asked questions if it's a sales call in particular and then a couple of days before the call they'll get a reminder 24 hours before the call they'll get a reminder two hours before the call they'll get a reminder and then 15 minutes before the call they'll get a reminder might sound like a lot but I don't think you can remind people too much. And what's going to happen is it's very unlikely somebody's going to listen to all of those reminders, got all those reminders on email, and then they're going to cancel. If they are going to cancel, they're going to cancel earlier rather than a few minutes before or just no show. And it's just good etiquette. It's a, just a nice way to run things, but to have it automated. So I use Canadly to do this. You can use your software of choice, or if you want, if you want to get really fancy, I'm sure you can use something like Zapier, which does automations. But the point is, we need the person to have a reminder, a good time before the call, a day before, and then a few hours before, or even minutes before. And in those emails, you can also tell them that this is what to expect. Here's some questions. Here's an example of something, blah, blah, blah. We can use those uh, touch points to further the relationship, further the conversation before you've even got on the call with people. And what happens is it also kind of builds up this anticipation. So when I have people book calls with me when they speak with me, there's so much lead up and so much build up to it. It feels like a really, obviously it's very special talking to me, but it feels like a really special thing, a special event, and we're taking it seriously. We're taking it seriously. And that's what's missing from these people who are unprofessional and just, obviously, you know, things happen, that's fine. If somebody's got a genuine reason they tell you afterwards and it's an emergency, that's fine. But for the people who just recklessly and fecklessly just don't turn up or message you just before, oh, here's a problem, whatever, this helps to weed those people out. So that's the moral of the story for today. When you're booking calls with people and also in Outlook and Gmail and other places, you can set up reminders where it will email people in advance of events. It's not just all about Calendly, but make sure you set up call reminders because that is not one of the ways to prevent no-shows. It's pretty much the way to prevent and minimize no-shows on your sales calls. That's it for this episode number 76 of the Daily Sales Message. Now, next in episode number 77, we're going to be talking about the secret to getting more reviews, case studies, proof, testimony. In episode 75, all that time ago, yesterday, uh, I talked about the importance of having reviews, case studies, testimonials, known as social proof, to help you sell more stuff. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you the secret, the little trick, the little hack, the little strategy that will maximize and really turbocharge the amount of people that respond to you and want to help you out and leave you a nice review on the internet. But you have to have to queue in. You have to tune in to me tomorrow to find out more.
you enjoyed this podcast, then please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Shoot me a DM. It's always lovely to hear from daily sales message listeners. And I'll catch you tomorrow for episode number 77.